this is the fourth class of simple harmonic oscillator i hope uh, you have gone through previous three classes and in last class um, we have derived the uh, ground state energy eigen function of simple harmonic oscillator okay in this class now we are going to develop the first excited state uh, energy eigen function that is x dash 1 equal to uh, x dash a dagger 0 this k to 1 we can write as a dagger 0 and that is equal to under root m omega over 2 h cross we know what is a dagger and x dash x minus ip over m omega 0 okay and we can expand this term that is x dash x 0 x dash x 0 minus uh, minus i over m omega x dash p 0 x dash p 0 okay if x operates on x dash we will get an eigenvalue x dash okay so we can write x dash x dash 0 minus i uh, i over m omega into uh, minus i h gross t d by d x dash x dash 0 okay uh, actually this is the momentum operator in position basis okay uh, so we know the momentum operator in position space we can write as uh, minus i h gross d by d x dash x dash alpha okay instead of alpha here it's 0 and uh, that is equal to under root m omega we can expand this term so if we expand if we multiply this with this one we will get under root m omega over 2 h cross x dash x dash 0 minus under root h cross y uh, 2 m omega x dash 0 okay so uh, uh, actually we have put x naught equal to under root h cross over m omega okay if we put h cross uh, uh, under root h cross over m omega equal to x naught we can write this equation as 1 over under root 2 x naught x dash x dash 0 minus x naught over under root 2 uh, x dash 0 okay so the uh, first excited state energy eigen function we can develop in this way x dash 1 equal to 1 over under root 2 x naught x dash minus x naught square d over dx dash mm. d over dx dash x dash 0 okay uh, I to do this question number And similarly, uh, the uh, next level energy eigen function we can develop uh, and, uh, through the same way because uh, the ket 2 is equal to a dash square over uh, uh, under root 2 uh, ket 0 that we have uh, we have derived in uh, previous classes. Uh, so we will get that is equal to 1 over root 2 uh, root 2 uh, into 1 over root 2 x naught whole square x dash minus x naught square t over d x dash whole square uh, into x dash 0 okay so in general we can write the energy eigen function as x dash n equal to in this way okay this is equation 21 Now, uh, let us find out the expectation values of x square and p square and the ground state of simple harmonic oscillator. Okay, that is 0 x square 0 equal to 0 x into x into 0. That is equal to, we know what is x operator. That is uh, under root h cross over 2m omega a plus a dagger into under root h cross over 2m omega a plus a dagger. Okay, this is a plus a dagger and this is a plus a dagger. We cannot uh, take this in the form of a plus b. Uh, whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square because these are operators a a dagger and a dagger a is not equal so we expand in this way that is a that is a a uh, a square plus a a dagger a a dagger plus a dagger a plus a dagger square into k 0 that is equal to we can expand in this way 0 a square 0 0 a a dagger 0 0 a dagger a 0 0 a a dagger square 0 that we will get is in the form of um, h cross over 2 m omega uh, h cross over 2 m omega this equal to 0 and this one equal to 1 this is equal to 0 this one equal to 0 so we will get the expectation value of x square uh, as uh, h cross over 2 m omega and we know uh, the x naught is under root h cross over 2 m omega so this we can write in the way of x naught square over 2 okay so uh, now uh, let me define 
let me calculate how we got 0 a square 0 equal to 0 okay and this is equal to 0 a into a 0 so 0 a if we operate a on 0 a on 0 then uh, that is um, under root uh, under root n n minus 1 okay a a operates on n a operates on n equal to under root n n minus 1 so if a operates on 0 under root 0 into 0 minus 1 get 0 minus 1 so here 1 0 is there this uh, this is actually multiplication with 0 that we will get equal to 0 and the next 0 a a dagger 0 is uh, we got here it's 1 that is equal to 0 a if a dagger operates on 0 okay a dagger on n equal to under root n plus 1 get uh, get get n plus 1 okay so in that way a dagger 0 is uh, uh, 0 plus 1 under root 0 plus 1 is 0 get n plus 1 is 1 okay and that is equal to uh, uh, next we need to multiply we need to operate uh, with the annihilation operator a on 1 and we will get that is under root n n minus 1 equal to uh, 1 into 0 okay this we will get uh, equal to we will get as uh, we will get as this value of uh, this inner product of 0 equal to 1 okay and the next 0 a dagger a 0 is a dagger operates on 0 then we will get 0 this whole term will become 0 and uh, 0 a dagger square 0 is 0 a dagger into a dagger 0 if a dagger operates on it we will get get 1 so again a dagger operates on it then we will get get 2 ok and uh, we can take this 2 and uh, under root 2 and 1 outside then this will become 0 2 and uh, uh, this are orthogonal orthogonal so we will get this equal to 0 ok and uh, next in the same way we can find out the expectation value of p square ok that is 0 p square 0 equal to we know what is p operator i under root a mh cross omega over 2 minus a plus a dagger and uh, uh, you have to follow the similar uh, you have to follow the uh, this equations because um, you know here minus a plus a dagger and here also uh, minus a plus a dagger so you have to multiply with this one and uh, uh, this is uh, this uh, steps are similar to this steps so you can easily find out i am not explaining here so that is expectation value of p square equal to h cross m omega over 2 okay let me find out the expectation values of kinetic energy and potential energy okay our Hamiltonian operator is h equal to p square over 2m plus half m omega square x square and the expectation value of Hamiltonian operator equal to expectation value of p square over 2m plus half m omega expectation value of half m omega square x square that is equal to 1 by uh, 2m expectation value of uh, p square plus half m omega square expectation value of x square and in equation 22 and 23 we got the expectation values of uh, x square and p square so we uh, uh, we took directly that uh, equations directly that values that is equal to 1 over 2m h cross m omega over 2 and uh, this one we will get the expectation value as h cross omega over 2 and uh, the expectation value of kinetic energy equal to p expectation value of p square over 2m and uh, uh, we get a h cross omega over 4 and that is equal to we can compare with this that is equal to half of the expectation value of Hamiltonian and the expectation value of potential energy equal to uh, we got again h cross omega over 2 that is equal to half of the uh, half of the uh, expectation value of total energy operator as we expect expected from the virial theorem in classical mechanics okay now we will discuss the expectation value of uh, position and momentum and uncertain relation okay uh, so we have learned this um, you know uh, when we learned about matrix elements we have solved this uh, equation that is n dash x n equal to under root h cross omega over 2 m omega and this term okay so if you are putting 
n instead of n dash then n x n this this term is actually the expectation value whatever the state whether it's a ground state or first excited state or um, any other state uh, this n represents that state and x n x n represents the expectation value of x at that level so that is equal to zero because uh, if we put n uh, n instead of this n dash then this is delta n n minus 1 okay n and n minus 1 uh, is not equal to uh, is not equal so delta n n minus 1 equal to 0 we will get the expectation value of position equal to 0 and similar in similar way we can find the expectation value of uh, momentum in any state that is equal to 0 okay expectation value of momentum equal to 0 now uh, we have solved the expectation value of x square expectation value of p square as well as x and p okay so we can find out the variance uh, uh, this is that is delta expectation value of delta a square uh, we defined like this this is an operator when uh, a is an operator uh, expectation value of delta a square is known as variance that is equal to uh, expectation value of a square minus square of the expectation value of a and uh, if you put position operator here then delta x square expectation value of variance of uh, uh, variance of x is equal to uh, x square minus expectation value of x square okay that is equal to uh, you know x square is h cross by uh, 2m omega minus uh, expectation values of x, x is 0 so we will get the x uh, we will get this is equal to h cross over 2m omega okay similarly we will get uh, the variance of momentum is h cross m omega over 2 okay so we can find out the uh, uncertainty relation that is delta x square delta p square equal to h cross over 2m omega h cross over 2m omega into h cross m omega by 2 that is equal to h square over 4 okay this is the uncertainty relation we got that is equal to a position moment of uncertainty relation h bar square over 4 okay uh, uncertainty relation in simple harmonic oscillator okay so we are familiar with actually Gaussian wave packet and we have a function uh, x dash alpha equal to this term and the probability density of the Gaussian wave packet uh, is x dash alpha square equal to 1 over pi raised to 1 by 2 d e raised to x star square over uh, d square okay that means the probability density has the shape of a Gaussian uh, wave packet with width d okay here the wave function of simple harmonic oscillator x dash zero uh, has given and when we are finding the probability density of this wave function we will get the similar equation as the Gaussian wave packet that means the probability density has the Gaussian shape with the with the d with the x naught and x naught where x naught equal to um, under root h cross over m omega okay and in the ground state the particle is oscillating is oscillating uh, ground state energy we know half h cross omega oscillating with this energy and the probability of finding the particle is maximum uh, at this position okay at zero probability of finding the particle uh, max is maximum at zero okay the expectation values of uh, x square in first excited state is um, 1 x square 1 that is equal to 3 by 2 uh, h cross over m omega okay now, so this you can find effortlessly uh, in the same way as uh, we found expectation value in ground state okay let's say i'm not doing uh, all of the steps and just uh, writing the final answer only uh, final result so 1 p square 1 equal to 3 by 2 uh, m h cross omega and the uncertainty in the uh, first excited state of simple harmonic oscillator is uh, 9 h bar square or 4 okay so in general we can say that uncertainty in nth level that is at uh, delta x square uh, n delta p square n equal to n plus 1 uh, 1 by 2 whole square h bar square okay and uh, uh, we know uh, the expectation value of position and momentum in all states will be equal to 0 we have told uh, earlier 
and use this equations uh, to find this one okay find this delta x and delta p uh, okay 